Hello, Ingo. Good morning. How are you? Hi, thanks. Um, we are doing fine. Hope the same to you. Yes, we are also safe at home as COVID-19 kept us uh, locked inside home. What about the precautions you have taken in your company, Emos? Yeah, of course, this COVID-19 has affected also the Emos business a lot. Um, as you just uh, mentioned, uh, the traveling has stopped a lot. My last trip was in India Wood, um, and we agreed so many meetings in India Wood with customers from India for April, for May, but all those has been postponed according to this today's situation. And um, yeah, the, the COVID-19 affected EMOS as well as all the countries worldwide. And I believe there will be a change for, for a long time for everybody. This change in, in detail is not new to EMOS. As a uh, software, software supplier, we have implemented uh, these um, online services, these processes a long time before. And um, if I just look back, since more than five years, we are offering um, online service to our clients. So we are uh, prevent or we just give them some options for take part of our, we call it online academy, where we do online trainings to all the customers with Emos. And um, most or finally all our digital services, um, which is our support center, has been guaranteed for several years that we've got our customer needs quickly and directly. So for us, this digital change or communication um, has been daily life for a long time. And of course, this, uh, according to the today's um, situation, it will improve a lot and it will be also um, become a um, state of the art and standard situation. But the daily chat, support, service work, consultancy, trainings, uh, via online services, like we today have also an interview with uh, with um, an online option, is the standard for Emos since many years. So the only change in this is that the frequency has increased a lot. Well, yes, as both of us are digital company, we are producing digital magazine and you are producing software and connectivity tools for companies. So it is it is a lot easy for us, but. We also see in company like classical woodworking machinery company like Homag, Winey, SCM, they are all now having online operations, more like online training, online conference, online workshop. So do you have a specific plan to support this company with a new product? Um, yes, uh, I mean, not with a new product. Um, what we did is, and most, and we are in a lucky position because we are today not having physical productions like like uh, you mentioned, Humag uh, or SCM or Piesse. So we do all our productions uh, via computer services. We are um, we are see there is a lot of change in in uh, in the um, implementation and in networking of of systems together. So um, also Emos by itself, we see ourselves as a company who prevent or who provide those um, interactions, integrations from the customer to the machine business directly. And um, this was a start in actually in 2017 when we um, launched the, um, the IX, the EMOS IX version in 2017, because the IX stands for digitalization, for networking of data, for integration of processes. And um, I mean, not to the today's situation, but the, the change uh, in this mind uh, was early in 2017 with Emos already. Well, yes, like um, UTCAD and CAM is now HOMAC IA. So can you can you elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah of course. Um, so, well, we started in 2010 with a partnership with HOMAC. Um, and that was a time where Woodcut Cam was born. And Woodcut Cam was an, an OEM version developed by Emos, of course, with some limitations to the original. And it worked very well for a long time. And then I come back to, to the previous question. Um, when we launched um, the IX in 2017 in Ligna, there were a lot of changes, new changes. Um, and this networking of data integration of processes was quite interesting for all the companies. And in early 2020, we offered to replace the Woodcut Cam 
version to the new X version so that all our customers, whether EMOS or M customers, so the former would come customers, or the direct customers from EMOS um, can touch our network, our EMOS network, and get the opportunity to take the next step with the IX. And the most important change in this, what you mentioned, is more or less that EMOS take over the complete second level services. This means that we have uh, access to all the customers worldwide, doesn't matter if it's Woodcocom or it's EMOS, the IX customers, it's, and we can promise high quality processes to them. And that is a major change in. Well, uh, well, Ingo, as I personally believe that meeting in the trade fair, one personal meeting, one-to-one -one meeting is very, very important in every business. But as we see now, like we are, we are, we are uncertain. We, we don't know when we will be able to, the border will be open, the trade fair will be started again because yeah. most of the trade fairs yeah. are either postponed or canceled. So how you change, how you see the companies are communicating in a different manner, different pattern, and how you think like this will affect the business, and uh, do you think we should develop some new tools for to cope up this situation? Um, EMOS do not have to develop new tools for it. We um, we have all the tools available at this time. We only um, what we did like always. We always um, improve those tools. And you're right. Um, we all have noticed the postponement of, of the um, exhibitions in, uh, in Nuremberg or the cancellation of this uh, exhibition in Nuremberg, as well as in Milan. Um, it was always a hot spot of communication with the customers. Absolutely right. And, and, and direct um, communication with the customer is, is always uh, the best way to get his needs and also to feel what he's looking for. Huh? Um, this exhibition is always very important to us. But um, at the present situation where we shift everything to online meetings to online communications um, it's also um, an, an, an state-of-the-art way to communicate with customers and the customers today they accept the change to online meetings because uh, everybody say stay at home in home office and look forward to to increase the businesses and find new ways of it and the good thing is also due to the online availability um, our project consultants, they are more present to our customers today than before because they are uh, not having the, the, the difficult way to travel to one to one to the next customer. So they can just by an online meeting switch to the next customer and can split off their days uh, in, into many parts and having, let's say, um, more customers per day um, available. Um, and as I said, if you're open to new ideas, you can take a great innovative process from, from, from this way and, and to improve your own processes. Huh? Well, being the, one of the pioneers in the software manufacturing in woodworking industry, do you see any scope of virtual marketplace at this moment? Um, so the, the, the current shutdown, I believe, will result in a fundamental change in customer behavior. And uh, this may lead also to more online acceptance to, to, um, to our business. And it will have a shift to, to a permanent um, online business in the furniture segment, I believe. Um, today, everybody is going to online shops and purchase um, standard articles like uh, clothes, something which is not customization um, parts of. The furniture industry today is changing a lot and customization is one of the biggest aspects in it. And this is a bit more difficult uh, for online shops uh, compared to uh, standard parts like you're selling a pen or you're selling uh, something which is fixed, uh, only you can choose maybe a different color. Huh? But um, this option, and I th think also it's an opportunity for the direct business from the manufacturer to the customer. It also will force us to more integrated processes. So I believe, yes, there will be a change. And um, there was uh, something very interesting. I, uh, I read an article this morning that describes that the situation and the global crisis, uh, there was nice sentences. The manager from a company said, this is, uh, it happens not to us, but it happens for us. So it sounds a bit um, optimistic, but I think if you are just think a bit about it, you can take something positive out of it. So um, exactly what you mentioned, um, 
the online businesses and the desolation will increase those processes. And uh, what, we, what we feel in EMOS is that we have many more meetings every day to analyze customer processes uh, together with them online. Um, it means also that we have more requests on further improvements to our customer online businesses. And the EMOS net, so the online option in EMOS to have an, an, an online marketplace for our customer with specific uh, content of customer needs, talking directly to the machines or talking directly to the factory, this EMOS net solution is now booming right now. And that's why also I, I think there's something positive in this difficult situation, yes. That's very interesting, actually. Uh, well, uh, Ingo, tell me something. For your software business, you have very less difficulty in terms of supply chain than the other machine manufacturer. So trying to finalize or get a new client, marketplace, trade show is very important. Other than that, for your business, is it totally possible to run online? I mean, in terms of selling a software, implementing the software, giving training, everything. Is it possible? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and this is what, what we do today. Um, I mean, um, in the past, it was very common to go to the customer place, give them the training face-to-face, -face, install the software, um, and there was also a very, very um, good move for me was without having the information that this COVID comes up. But in Ligna 2019, we changed our, our software um, into a bit more online uh, possibilities. So in the past, we got this, um, this um, dongle, this key, which was always a hard lock. So you have to have this hard lock. So we have to chip this hard lock uh, around the world to our customers who purchase our software. Since Ligna, we changed to a soft lock. So now we can also um, communicate to our customers with their today's need um, via our soft lock and uh, via our support center. So whenever a customer has some new changes in his requirements, it's for us just in, in a small and smart online way to update them. And then also the trainings started online. Um, this was also happened before for long distance training, um, but um, the customer also accepted more and more. In the past, customer of course asked us, uh, please come over here, uh, book your flights, uh, get your visa. Um, yeah, just find the right um, um, appointment for us to do the training to our customer, to our to our stuff. And then also implement the connection to the machines, implement uh, the online shop with Emos. So just uh, develop the own um, an ecosystem for our customers. And yes, it is possible to do everything via online services, but the customer also has to accept this. And also we have to provide this, but this was done a long time before as well. So the change is there and we are in a, in a, in a, in a good position because we have changed all the software options to online services um, since Ligna 2019 with a soft lock. And it was a good move right now. It's, it's a very, very important move for us to do so, yes. Right, exactly. That's the main topic, like uh, the companies who are almost now prepared with the connectivity, with the, with the, with the digital technology, with IoT, and you know, uh, they're in a better position to, to handle this situation. This, this, this situation, this is, not expected, but you know, we have to cope up. We have to change our internal uh, methodology technique to cope up this situation. And I sincerely hope we'll come out with this situation very soon. And then we will start again uh, meeting in the trade show around the world and expand the business. Thank you, Ingo, for talking to me. Thank you so much. See you soon and stay safe.